Hey everyone, welcome back to Clutch Situation. I want to say right off the bat that this is a sponsored video and I was contacted by a representative from a, the Chinese company, Tizur, which, you know, go ahead and feel free to do some Google searches on them. You're not going to find a lot about them. They're, they're a new company. And the representative contacted me and offered to send me one of their Tizur 4-in-1 titanium bolt action uh, multi-pens. And it's right here. Uh, I'm going to review it uh, on the channel today and give you my thoughts on it. And uh, hopefully it'll be something that uh, some of you will uh, gain interest in, especially maybe if you're in the EDC crowd too. Uh, the listing on Amazon, this is sold at Amazon, listed as an EDC pen. And yeah, technically, um, we'll talk a little bit about its functionality as we go along. And so here's the pen. It is made out of titanium. And it is a multi-pen, but it's not a multi-pen that has the cartridges for the different uh, styles already in the body of the, the pen. So right now I have the pencil cartridge inside the pen, and I have a pen cartridge over here. Uh, the good news is that it takes uh, standard G2 refills, and so it came with a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000M refill. And, you know, other examples of G, uh, companies that make G2 size refills would be Parker, Fisher Space Pen, Schneider, Monteverde. Uh, and so, you know, it, it it's not like you need to get a highly specialized pen refill for this. The mechanical pencil component of it is a Schmidt mechanical pencil uh, assembly, which I've found that Schmidt mechanical pencil assemblies are okay. You know, they, they do the job. I believe that they're originally of German manufacture and, you know, that's usually associated with quality. So let's go ahead and take this apart so that we can see what it's like uh, to uh, disassemble and reassemble with a different cartridge. I'll just point out here that the knock is this little button right here. And so if I press down on the button, it advances the lead. It came with 0.7 millimeter cartridge. The only downside of this particular cartridge, as we're going to see as I take it apart, is that the cartridge needs to be threaded according to the pen itself. And so unfortunately, you're not going to be able to replace the lead size on this because now in order to get the pencil cartridge out, I have to unscrew it from the assembly. And I got my little spring in there. And if I bring this up close to the camera, let's see if I can get it in focus. Okay, you can see that it's specifically threaded for this pen. So an unfortunate downside here is that if you want to get a different, a different lead size just isn't going to be possible unless I don't know if it's possible to contact Tizur and see if they have any alternately threaded, uh, mechanical pencil cartridges but based upon what i've seen this is sort of like a high volume you know sort of business it would seem to me and so i i really doubt that you'd be able to get any different lead sizes unless they choose to expand now the pen cartridge of course is a lot easier to seed because you just take a spring and it comes with an extra spring in case you lose one but you know these are pretty standard springs that tend to come in in pens that have g2 cartridges so even if you were to lose both springs i don't think that it would be a big deal. By the way, I'd also like to point out here that there is an O-ring, uh, a little O-ring in here that seals it up. Um, uh, there's a little gusset here. And so when we close it up, then we have the pen. And I would argue that both the pencil and the pen, the pen obviously is pocket safe in that um, if I retract back here, it retracts back into the pen and you can go either left or right, depending upon what your preference is on the top of the pen here and so this is i so this is a schmidt easy flow 9000 medium and i like it as cartridges go um i think it's gel and, you know, I, I have a tendency to prefer Fisher Space Pen cartridges for ballpoint because they last for quite some time. But, you know, I've been interested in exploring gel pens as well. Now, in terms of other features of the pen, we have a very sturdy pocket clip here that is also made out of the same material, titanium. So that isn't going to go anywhere. What makes this an EDC pen, I think, and especially what makes it four in one, because you may be wondering, okay, we got pen, we got pencil, that's two. Where where are our other two features here? Well, 
One feature that we have here is that there's a little glass breaking nub on the end uh, made out of metal, like sort of like a ball bearing. And so, you know, the standard idea here, and I'm not going to do this. I, I'm not going to do a glass breaking thing for y'all. <laughs> okay. If you came here to see me break glass, that's not happening because I just don't need to do it. Okay. That's not this. This is not that kind of channel. Okay. I, I try to hit the EDC market, but I'm going to draw the line at breaking glass. Okay. But you know, if you're ever trapped in a car, a, a glass breaking device is and like, this is your window. You jam this against the lower corner of the window and it's supposed to break the glass. I think for something like this, I mean, this is sturdy. This is made out of type titanium, but I would be concerned personally that I would still cut the edge of my hand on glass if I were smashing glass with this. And, you know, yeah, I suppose you could, you know, try it out and see how likely you are to uh, injure yourself on that. I think that the fourth option that they're going here based upon the Amazon entry is that this is also keyworded for spinner toys. And so you also got this little spinny element at the end, which, you know, I could see some of you really enjoying this, you know, you can spin it as you're, and you know, it doesn't make too much noise. And so that's likely the fourth uh, aspect of this. And so uh, there we go. Um, Tizer 4-in-1 DP1 titanium bolt action. What do I like about it? What do I dislike about it? Well, before we rate it, let's go ahead and go through the uh, strengths and I'm gonna get the pen cartridge here out of the way. Um, and we'll think about, you know, what works and, and what doesn't work. You know, I don't think I need the spring at all for the mechanical pencil component because it just screws in there. And so, um, we're going to reassemble. So on any Schmidt cartridge, I should probably point out here that you take out this little black plastic piece and you can refill the lead in there in case anybody is curious as to how that works out. So reassembling the pen. Uh, let's talk about strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the strengths. Always start with the positive. So our strength. Well, I mean, you have quality components here. I've been using this pen for a couple months now. You know, I know I haven't had a lot of videos on the channel and that probably isn't going to change here, folks, because we're in a, a really challenging year for education and I've really had to concentrate on my professional obligations. But, um, uh, we have quality components for the pen. Um, features, question mark? I, I mean, it, it really just depends upon what features you value. You know, I, if, if you value a little spinner toy at the end of your pen, and if you value glass breaking at the end of your pen, then, you know, maybe the features are going to be a strength for you. Um, you know, I'll get into the weaknesses. Uh, we have a really strong pocket clip. And, you know, I would also go ahead and throw on here that Schmidt components are generally nice components. Uh, and, you know, that's it, they're not necessarily anything that I'd write home about. Um, it's textured up here on the grip, but not down where I hold the pen. So depending upon whether you are a uh, holding up high on a writing utensil or down low on a writing utensil, that could influence, you know, how... Uh, the particular grip on this works for you. Uh, I found the action here, the spring-loaded action of the um, the little nub here to be pretty solid when you have the pen in there. And that, I guess, goes back to the quality components. Let's go back to the weaknesses. Okay, once again, this is all about what you value. And so, for me... I don't really care about these extra features, okay? As a mechanical pencil and pen enthusiast, um, I'm not really going to find myself in a situation where this pen, I don't think too often where I'm going to need to break glass. Um, I live in a city, you know, we, we have a rescue near us. Uh, you know, I don't want to jinx myself, never say never, you know. But, um, and, you know, I'm not really into spinner toys. And so I think in the months that I've used this, I, I never spun this thing until for the purposes of this review, I looked at the Amazon entry and noted that this is probably what they're referring to as the fourth part 
of the four in one. Um, no eraser, which, you know, for some of you, that doesn't matter because you use a dedicated eraser. And so, you know, there it is. Oh, I should probably write up here in the, the strengths that it is definitely pocket safe. Even the mechanical pencil assembly here, if you, if you take the lead down, it's a conical lead sleeve. And so a conical lead sleeve is, you know, generally going to be considered to be pocket safe. And it's certainly pocket safe for a pen because you can retract the pen back up into the body of the device. Okay, so um, for me, features might be weaknesses for you. No eraser might be a weakness for you. Uh, the changing of the cartridge, I think most people would want to call this a multi-pen if you had ready and easy access to pen or pencil features, depending upon what you're doing. Most people who are in professions that need a quick switch between pens and pencils, well, this is not a quick switch. You're, you're not going to, like, if you're coding something on a form and you're used to coding some things in a color or black or blue or in pencil, this is not going to be the product for you because you you know, will want access to those right away. And you'd go to a classic multi-pen that allows you to switch those things out right away. Now, most classic multi-pens do not come in titanium and are really durable like this, you know? And so I should probably write up here, you know, that this is highly durable being titanium. Okay. But then, you know, in addition to the changing of the cartridge, I have questions about the grip and how the grip is going to be for individuals. This grip doesn't really sit well for me. It might sit well for some of you who hold the body of your pencil more up here. Uh, one thing that I should probably come uh, point out at this stage is that uh, it comes with a really nice and attractive case. Okay, so it's a plastic case that has these openings right here. And uh, it's foam lined, so you can stick the pen in there if you really want. And most often what I'm doing is I'm just storing the components in here. And of course, for the pen, the pen comes with this little plastic cap. You have uh, an extra O-ring here. You have your uh, extra springs that you can put in here for when you need the spring. And uh, I think that um, you could probably tear the foam out of this. Well, you definitely can take it out of the bottom and repurpose this case if, if you're not inclined to use it for the pen. Whoops, I already lost the, the second spring out the back there. So you could repurpose this case to use it for something else. It's a really nice case, and so that might be a perk for some people as well. So let's uh, write it down here under strengths. We have a nice case that it comes with. Uh, you know, and... I don't really think that this is a strength or a weakness, but we'll talk about cost here in a second because I know that that's going to be a factor for some people. And uh, I do plan on very soon reviewing some lower cost mechanical pencils on the channel. Well, very soon is relative, okay? For my next video is what I mean. I can't tell you when that's going to be. So, you know, folks, thanks for your patience. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and go ahead and dive right into rating this supposed four in one and so on the rating scale we have writing experience we have features we have quality and we have cost Okay, so writing experience, like I said, I've been using this pen for a couple of months now, and I've enjoyed using it. Um, the grip isn't exactly to my taste, and since you have to end up switching out cartridges and everything, and there isn't any eraser for it, um, if I know that I only need one particular writing utensil, I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and rate it for a good for writing experience, largely because the grip just isn't to my particular taste with uh, this uh, patterning up higher on the body of the pencil instead of lower. Uh, features, once again, it depends upon what you value. And so I'm going to go good on features. And I actually think that's pretty generous here because it has the features, but two of the features uh, doesn't really do anything for me at all. And the two of the features, you have to do that switch out with the cartridges. And so it has the features also doesn't have an eraser, you know? And so um, the EDC crowd might rate this instrument differently than I might. And that's fine, you know, to each their own uh, quality. You know, we're at great. 
Uh, I am a, the reason why I wouldn't go superb on this is because I haven't had any problem with the threading of the mechanical pencil assembly, but I am a little concerned uh, that the threading might degrade over time. And if the threading does degrade over time or if it gets bent, the pencil component wouldn't be usable in the pencil anymore. So I, I've been switching it out, you know, off and on for a couple months and haven't had any problems. But um, I am a little concerned that if those threads get bent in any way, shape or form, the pencil would essentially become unusable. You know, I don't know if you could contact to Zur and get a replacement and they may or may not even be able to do replacements given that the threading might be specific to this particular cone assembly for the pen. I'm just not sure. So keep that in mind. Uh, cost right now, it's $49.90 USD on US Amazon. And I think even if you put it in your cart right now, I had seen that there might even be an extra 5% offered on it. It's listed retail is $65.90. And for a titanium pencil, you know, that's 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 pretty on par, you know? And so, but I would still call this obviously an expensive pen or pencil. Uh, this, you know, would be something if you just really need a tank. Uh, to take to your work or something like that. That's sort of uh, how you would buy, why, why you might buy into this. Uh, and so there it is, the Tizur 4-in-1 DP1 Titanium Bolt Action. I really like it. You know, I, I don't certainly don't regret being sent it, uh, sent it. And, you know, for the price, I is it worth $50? Yeah, I think that it's worth $50. It, it just depends upon what you value and whether you value the the strength of titanium and whether you don't mind switching out cartridges for a pencil or a pen. And so that's going to vary by individual. I, you know, I, I can already anticipate that somebody, some of you are going to like it. Some of you are going to hate it and that's fine. But, uh, you know, I told Tizur that I would review this on the channel since I got sent a free copy and I don't regret receiving it. So you do you. So folks, thanks for sticking around and being patient and watching Clutch Situation. I'll get another video out sometime. Okay. Uh, but um, I appreciate you being here and have a great day.